In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to convert your logo into a Photoshop brush that you can then place your watermark anywhere you like in an image, as large as you like, as small as you like, really quickly. Um, so here I've got a, a sample logo that I created. Uh, it's got four colours and the first thing we need to do is make our entire logo black. Uh, there's two ways to do this. I'm going to show you if you've got um, a logo that's only got a few colours, you can do image, adjustments, threshold and then move the slider all the way to the right and you can see there the principle it would make your logo completely black. Uh, it hasn't done so for mine because of the white flower so I'm just going to cancel that. I'll show the other way. With your black and white selected I'm going to use a rectangle tool, draw a black box and then coming over to my layers panel uh, holding alt on my keyboard and there you go, clip the black box to the whole of my logo and it's made everything black. So now that we've got our black logo, we want to edit, define brush preset, and now we want to la label, give our brush a name. So I'm going to call it watermark brush. Okay. Now if we open an image, um, I'll choose and select a brush then you can see the last brush that we've created was our watermark brush um, and there you go you can either have it as black because we've got the black here selected if I just undo that if you change it to white then you'd have a white brush or we can click on that and have any color we want we can make the brush smaller or as big as we want or we can make it as opaque as we want so that's really how quick and simple it is to make a brush so that you're in control of where your logo appears on your image uh, we recommend that your logo touches your subject's face um, partially covers it um, obviously to deter people from downloading your images and trying to get prints from them. So I hope that's been useful um, and thanks for watching.